Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into the world of rolling release Linux distributions. Um, you've probably heard of Ubuntu or Fedora with their point release cycles, but what exactly is a rolling release distro and why might you choose one? Let's break it down. A rolling release Linux distro updates continuously rather than waiting for a major version bump. Instead of packaging a bunch of software into a version 1.0 and then releasing version 2.0 two years later, a rolling release distro pulls in new versions of upstream software as soon as they're ready. It's kind of like the ship of Theseus, where all the parts get replaced over time, but it's still the same ship. Once you install it, you just keep upgrading and your system evolves piece by piece. Rolling releases became practical in the 2000s when broadband internet became widespread. Before that, it was a pain to download constant updates, so most distros stuck with periodic point-in-time releases. But once fast connections were everywhere, Linux developers thought, why not match the weekly kernel releases and keep everything up to date? The idea actually harkens back to research Unix at Bell Labs, where the system was in flux internally, even if outside users saw only numbered manual editions. Some well-known rolling release distributions include Arch Linux, which is the poster child, highly customizable, but you set up everything yourself. From Arch uh, sprang user-friendly spins like Manjaro, Endeavor OS, and Catchers that handle much of the heavy lifting for you. OpenSUSE Tumbleweed offers a rolling version of OpenSUSE aimed at power users and contributors, while Gentoo goes further by having you compile almost every package from source. Even Kaylee Linux for security professionals follows a rolling model pulling many packages from Debian's unstable branch to stay sharp. One big advantage of rolling releases is having access to the latest software versions. Developers often need cutting edge libraries and tools and waiting months or years for a point release can slow them down. Power users also enjoy not having to reinstall or perform painful version upgrades. Your system just grows and improves continuously. Plus, sometimes a new release fixes bugs you didn't even know you had. On the flip side, constantly getting new updates can introduce instability. Even the most careful maintainers can slip up and you might run into breakage that leaves you troubleshooting. Rolling releases also require a commitment to maintenance. You've got to run updates regularly and a fast, stable internet connection is a must. If you're looking for a true set and forget experience, you might find the continuous changes more hassle than they're worth. Rolling releases are ideal if you love tinkering, crave the newest software and don't mind occasional downtime or fixes. But if you need rock solid stability with minimal upkeep, say for a production server or a machine you only use occasionally, a standard point release distro like Ubuntu LTS or Debian Stable will serve you better. You don't have to lock yourself into one model. Many users dual boot a stable distro alongside a rolling one or run the rolling distro in a VM using VirtualBox or KMU. That way you get a reliable daily driver and a playground for bleeding edge software without risking your main system. So that's rolling release Linux in a nutshell. If you're ready to live on the bleeding edge and don't mind a little maintenance, give one a try. Let me know in the comments which distros you've used and don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that bell for more Linux tips. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.